Hi Cancer, welcome into the channel Sage Sensei Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. I really do hope you're doing well in this time. So we're going to take general messages for you. These are going to be love messages. Because they're general, they may not all apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest you let them fly. I thank you for liking the video, for sharing the messages with those you love and for subscribing to this channel, right? And I also want to say much love and blessings to the donations that I have been coming into this channel. Big respect for that super donation I received. It means a lot to me and it means a lot to this channel going forward. Um, so much love, much love and blessings to you. All right, much love, much love for all the donations. I appreciate it. Um, so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yes, yeah, so I want to talk about the tea. I'm having cinnamon and sage tea. So this is supposed to be calming, relaxing, soothing tea because the cinnamon leaves are, it has a wonderful flavor and it's very, it's, it reminds me of chamomile tea. So it's relaxing and it has a beautiful flavor, beautiful aroma as well. And I mix sage with it because I feel sage is good for the psyche. It's good for balance. I don't know. I feel like sage is good for, for the sight. All right, for the spirit. So we have sage cinnamon tea here. It tastes good and it's good for you. So And there's no sugar in this today. Accidentally, by the way, there is no sugar. But it's going, it's tasting all right so far. Just warm, soothing, and nice. So remember for bless up your immune system right all right so let's get into the readings for today so on the bottom of the tarot deck we have the lovers in your love message um so this could be your twin flame energy all right if you're not dating anyone at this point cancer mm, the lovers card here in tarot also represents you coming into connection with your higher self all right like finding true love and escape with yourself um yourself is your best consultant right now even in love you may be just doing it on your own if you're single all right or this is someone that could be coming up in your life mm -hmm. this lover's energy so this could be a gemini but let's get into it. First card. Ooh, I feel like you're on cloud nine in some way, shape or form. I do feel a lot of blessings and this feels new. Like you're on a new journey of well-being, satisfaction, manifestation, prosperity, abundance. I'm getting sun energy as I speak. Um, you may be meeting like a twin flame like for real because whenever i see this it gives me twin energy like something is about to reflect like the other half of something or a reflection of something all right so the ten of pentacles could be earth sign mm, another angelic vibration here temperance i hear energy at play Uh, something that happened in the past with the Five of Cups. I feel like a blessing. And someone may be returning or feeling like they want to escape or return. Home or... I'm, just, I'm getting an energy where someone feels like they are on the brink of moving toward this energy the four of wands is like a, a marriage because the wands energy is marriage like a, a wedding like someone missed a wedding is the energy of someone feeling like they were too late but they still don't want to give up so they're thinking they're gonna hurry up and um the last chance vibration if it's the last chance like if i could turn back the hands of time vibration i feel like this person has hope 
the ten of pentacles is my card of hope as well you know a light at the end of the tunnel vibration like someone wants a new beginning with you in this marriage they're hoping for a transformation like something about a fairy tale or a new story to tell but i'm feeling like someone is about to hurry toward you and i don't want to paint the picture for you it's like someone has been staying in a motel or a hotel right and they've been thinking this person has been doing a lot of thinking pacing back and forth back and forth in a lot of heightened vibration not knowing what to do i feel like this person was struggling with should i let it go or should i go after it you know what i mean should i move forward or should i go after what i desire i feel like this person may be reflecting looking at pictures images they may be looking at things that they treasure, value, and they're thinking to themselves, what am I doing? What am I really doing? Like this person wants to maybe go back to their family energy. You know what I mean? I've got to go get my family. All right. <clears throat> so, so it's that energy now where they're in the hotel or this room and they're hurrying up, packing up the suitcase, packing up the clothes so that they can because they now have this new vision this new desire this new feeling like this is what i want i'm going after what I, I want i've made up my mind energy so now they're here they come running 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 they may be and and this person is they're in their emotions they're they may have been crying as well you know um really thinking about the past all they've done they want to come back and say oh i'm sorry this person like crying we call that snot and everything like showing up tears dripping down their face to see i want this back the day this day our life together that's what they're thinking about maybe they want to renew that vow that contract but yikes because i'm getting the energy of a flower like a bell a flower that has a bell on the end of it like tulips and it would sway like this because <laughs> you're like you're nonchalant you're just hanging out the wind is blowing you but you really don't care for um what this person is coming with and the stories because remember i did say they're coming with some fairy tale or story it may not be fairy tale but it could be when i look at the temperance it feels like stories story tale you know and this person is just making up a lot of stories right now because they're in their emotions they're feeling lonely they may be upset so they may be uh, mistaking passion for uh, aggression for passion you know what i mean like so they may be wanting to come around to you and say say for example listen woman i'm coming back for my family but they may think that's passion and they're showing you passion like oh i really want my family but it's really aggression like this person could have been drinking as well with the with the temperance energy yeah with the temperance and the and the ten of pentacles this person has been drinking reflecting it's i don't think they've been self-reflecting but they could have or they need to reflect on their themselves like this person needs some more <clears throat> sobriety some more time alone some more time to reflect they need more of that you know like if they're going to return to you with that energy it's still a bit unhealed it may re reflect or it may look like it's passion and love but it's really just emotions sadness destitution feeling alone and then aggression and anger feeling like you did me wrong i'm gonna come after what i want energy not oh i realized that what i did was so wrong i mean they could say that but they don't that's not that's not that's not the core the root of why they come you know what i mean so use your discernment i feel like you're gonna do that and I feel like 
you should do whatever brings you peace balance harmony i feel like that's the energy you're gonna be in today or whenever i feel like you're just gonna be in an energy of peace like today is sunday you know what i mean so be outside enjoy the day listen to the birds um 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 um, um align with the frequencies i feel like you're gonna be aligning so peacefully beautifully today to earth to well-being and i feel like you're gonna be feeling the real release and freedom of not having this emotionally imbalanced person because i feel like they're emotionally imbalanced and sometimes they could have been abusive to you as well in the past because of their emotional instability so use your discernment and just take the messages that resonates with you all right so yeah so what is what is coming up is this person may come toward you offering you something but you're gonna be using your your discernment so a bit of chaos i hear destitution maybe for you or you're gonna be feeling because i didn't expect this that it would affect you this way because maybe you are still conflicted whether you want this person to come back or not whether you want this person to be in the home or not maybe it's it's really upsetting your energy i'm not all right but something needs to be released healed with the star card rejuvenated restored balance that's why i feel like if you spend more time outside you know realigning with yourself with your ancestral energy all of that the four ones it, you're gonna find a greater connection to yourself so if you're feeling a bit upset or you're dealing with family drama chaos all of that you're about to gain from it you're about to gain wisdom courage or true strength or some intuition some emotional balance you may be getting financial stability or you're just leveling up this is my turn your burdens to light card you know where you've been you see just all these muscles you've been taking a lot with you a lot of burden on your path but there's a way as the magician does the alchemist to turn lead into gold and i feel like that's what you're doing you're making the best out of the worst situation you could be writing your story you know what i mean i feel like honestly you being outside today is going to be so abundantly beautiful i'm just getting the energy of someone just a woman or someone just walking out or a man just walking outside right barefoot on the grass sun shining but there's something more as if you're going to get an inspiration to write a story or you're going to just get some sense of peace within you and well-being all right the four ones is that energy peace well-being harmony things flowing well together the king of swords i mean wands I do feel like you are very attractive at this time. You know, you can be attracting lovers, ex to you, future people. I mean, current relationships. I feel like that there are sexual energies around you prominently too that may need healing or someone could be watching you, attracted to you while you take a bath, energy, uh, or maybe you need to take a bath. But I feel like someone watches you when someone might watch you should we take this into extended we're at 14 minutes all right so we're going to end this message here and then we're going to go into extended i'm going to clarify a few more of the cards on this table and see what's happening but i'll leave these messages here i hope you find some that resonates with you and can help you on your journey today much love to you as always i appreciate you being here and i love being here with you um like the video share the messages with those you love subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so um check out my book being beauty journey to self-love also if you're looking for a read all right it's on amazon and the link to download is in the description box so you can download it ebook version or you can get a print copy all right link in the description box all of your support is abundantly appreciated i'll see you in your next reading take it easy or i'll see you over on patreon for the extended for this particular message about this lover this person wanting to hurry up and return in your life 
let's see what's going to happen in the future with this four of cups energy and let's take a look at this star card and the four of the king of wands like someone watching you like this person <laughs> you know the energy of someone watching someone showering outside and they're thinking i could go have sex with that person so someone may be lusting after you are anyways so that's that for that love you